I think with the exception of The Shark and Jaws and E.T., I've only made a couple of movies where I can put the silhouette of the leading character up on the screen, just a silhouette, and people immediately know where that came from. That should do it. I've learned to do a lot of things, very physical things, and keep my head on. And it's not by stapling it, really, but it's a lot of work sometimes to keep the hat on. If the hat falls off, we have to have a good reason for it. In other words, there's got to be a joke involved, or there's got to be some narrative process at work here, because the hat does not fall off. If it does come off when we're shooting, we usually cut and put it back on. The basic thing was, with the iconic look of Indiana Jones, we really didn't change. There's, there's no updating, really, except if you go back to Indiana 1 and 2 and 3, you're going to see nuanced differences in his look. And I was under great pressure. For me, to try to duplicate an iconic picture with a bunch of icons with George Lucas, with Steven Spielberg, with Harrison Ford. And I had to come up with the right stuff. And through referrals and referrals, I ended up with a guy named Stephen Delk in Mississippi. And he ended up making a lot of different hats and finally kind of perfecting them to the crease and, and everything. He came up with the perfect hat great, great hat body, heavy weight and everything. And he's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. And so I said, are you up to making me 30 of them? Well, I'll certainly try. I got a few hats in. They were the real feel that I wanted. And we did a screen test on all of his new clothes. And the first thing Stephen said when he saw the hat was, oh, great. He said, I lost sleep overthinking you would be able to come up with the hat, and I'm thrilled to death with the way the hats came out, and everybody seems to be happy with them. And the jackets, I found a guy named Tony Novak, and he came up with the greatest jacket. Everything was to perfection, and again, one of the sweetest guys. I said, now, can you do 30 of them? Yeah, I can do whatever you want. He brought me samples, and we picked out a sample of, of what color we wanted, and we did a few extra oversized in case we had to have extra padding. And he did a wonderful, wonderful job.